Quinn says play on. Murray, three seconds, two. DJ for the win. Got it! Seconds <laughs> left. The Hawks can tie it with a two or win it with a three. Here comes Murray. A three for the lead. He made it! Damn! Hawks with 15 triples tonight. Five of them. <laughs> Emotional damage. Yo, it's your boy DC Tree, and this is DC Tree Dash Nation, the channel on YouTube that covers hoops and heroes. In the day, we're talking hoops. We talking my boy DJ hitting those game winners up in Atlanta, y'all. Doing his thing, man. And before y'all start whining, oh, this is a Spurs channel. Why are you bringing him up? Just want to remind you that it's not just a Spurs channel. That is my channel. I make the rules around here, like Spider-Man. I don't want to hurt you. Leave now. <laughs> I guess you haven't heard. I'm the sheriff around these parts. Okay. I get what I'm trying to say, man. I choose the topics, and this topic is actually relevant to the Spurs if you pay attention to NBA news. This Jajante Murray and Spurs reunion has been on the mind of many writers over the past few weeks. Now, you know. Is it a possibility? Yes. Are the Spurs probably going to make this move? No. But I got to tell you, man, when I see these type of articles as a YouTuber, I get giddy. I get happy. Like Anakin Skywalker. This is where the fun begins. Because even if it's just rumors, even if it's not true, it's fun to speculate. It's fun to think about this scenario. What if DJ did come back to the Spurs? Because to be honest with you, I don't know about the rest of Spurs Nation, but I have a higher respect for not only DeJounte Murray, but for Derek White as well. Because good Lord, that point guard position is a beast. And we just thought we was going to throw Sohan out there and he was going to do work and he was terrible. <laughs> and Trey Jones has been decent, but he's been decent. We need a point guard badly. So getting a DJ would not necessarily be the worst thing in the world. I do question if he would kind of somewhat stunt the growth of Wimbenyama. Good Lord knows one of my issues with the Spurs this season early on, especially, was they weren't giving him the ball enough. So if you bring in a DJ, you know DJ is going to consume the ball a lot. Now that pick and roll with Wimbenyama is going to be going stupid now. But, you know, as far as like touches, that might hurt Wimby. So it's an interesting dynamic and something that I don't see the Spurs doing, if I'm being honest. But at the end of the day, like I said before, it is interesting to think about at the end of the day. And if anything, it gives me a chance on my platform. It's a small platform. I don't have a whole bunch of followers because I do not post things for clicks. I post what I'm thinking, how I actually feel. And I want to give this man some props, man. We hear about DJ and his escapades online, his shen shenanigans online, but we rarely hear about the good things. And my man over there hooping. Now, is the Hawks experiment working? Not necessarily. But DJ still giving you the 21 points per game, the five rebounds, the five assists. You know, he's still one of the league leaders in steals, top five, top seven at most. I got to double check that. He's still doing his thing. So I'm proud of this guy. He went and got his money. He went and got paid, man. I always wish every Spur the best when they move on. You know, so I'm happy to see him get a little shine, man. Hopefully at the trade deadline, they get him on a contender so he can, you know, try to get a championship, man. I'm rooting for him, man. All right, guys, this is it for this one. Thanks for kicking it with me. I just had to give my boy some props and think about what if he came back to the Spurs. It's fun to think about. All right, guys. Peace.